hate to seem repetitive, but once again, I have too many overripe bananas that I'm definitely not going to eat. So, and I'm going to use those bananas to make something, but this time I'm putting a little bit of a twist on it. After I finished my schoolwork, which I showed in the clip before this, it was 10.05 and it was time to turn the oven on and start preheating the 375, but then I couldn't figure out how to do it, so. Finally, I got it to get there. But of course, I have something to address. I put these things in, then it was time for the ingredients. I started the whole process by putting in two-thirds a cup of granulated sugar. Next I put in some vegetable oil, um, half a cup, and I used up the rest of it and it ended up being like the exact amount that I needed. Look. Wow, look at me blessed. I put that in and then next I cracked in my two eggs. Um, I'm sorry for some reason the audio glitched so yeah there's no cracking ASMR but here it is. Ooh, now it's all. Afterwards, I mix that all together till smooth and combined. This is how it looked after I was done. I forgot to put the baking. I forgot to put the baking soda in the ingredients list earlier, so here it is now. When it came time to mash the bananas and put it in, they were so mushy that I just went ahead and peeled them and put them in as they were. For so long, your heart's been aching, but you're too shy to say it. Inside, we both know what's been going on. You know the game, and you're gonna play it. After shaking the vanilla extract, which I don't think you're supposed to do, I put in some. I don't know how much, but I put in some. Afterwards, I whisked it all together. I don't know why the angle's so crooked, but this is what it looks like after whisking. Next, I put in one and one third cup of flour, um, specifically the bug infested variety. So yeah. Then I put in the baking soda, but like it said on it, all this stuff about cleaning. And it was kind of scaring me, but I just followed the recipe and put it in. I don't know how much I was supposed to put in, but this is approximately how much I did, which I think was too much, but I don't know. I then added in some salt, which it was coming really slow out of the shaker, and then I put in cinnamon. Um, I probably should have put more cinnamon in, actually. I always like to ramp up the spice in my desserts, so I put in some allspice, too. Now I'm going to mix it all together and then put it into cups, but before I do that, I am going to finish out my verse of Never Gonna Give You Up. <clears throat> and if you ask me how I'm feeling, try to make you understand. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. 
Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Do 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 do. Wait. Never gonna give, never gonna give, give you up. Never gonna give, never gonna do, do, do. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. My parents probably think I'm crazy. I need to stop. Rick Astley, 2020. Why do I look? My forehead looks so big. You know, why don't we just go ahead and check up on other aspects of my life while we're here? Um, I got a microphone. Look at her, I know she's so fancy. I wish I had a microphone like Joanna Cedia, but like. Anyway, I finished my work for today because I did like a whole bunch of work on Monday. Um, I think I'm looking pretty fabulous in this banana outfit. Look at this angling. Did I have this in the shot the entire time? After letting the muffins cool some, I got a fork and I pried them all out of the pan so that they could cool quicker without cooking more. Next, it was time to make the muffin toppings, which consisted of butter, sugar, and cinnamon. So I would dip the butter, melted of course, I would dip the muffins in the butter first and then um, put the sugar and cinnamon on the mix. Or what? Okay, since I used so much footage for this, I'm going to be getting out my old recorder from third grade music class and playing you a timeless classic. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Frick. Yes, thank you. I am Celine Dion. My heart will go on. I don't know when, but at some point during this process, I realized that I used salted butter to top it and I, I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out because I was kind of like tasting it and I'm like, this tastes kind of salty and then I was like, oh my god, I used uh, salted butter, but I'm hoping that it's okay. Right now I'm going to go eat lunch and um, after lunch, the judges will taste. Now that lunch is over, it's time to consult the judge. All right, so tell me what you have for me here today. Hello, oh my God, I'm your biggest fan. 
Okay, so today I made for you um, oatmeal, no, cinnamon banana muffins. All right, looks good. I like the little sprinkles of sugar on top. I wish that I had more cinnamon in it. That would make it look better, I think. Ooh, look at that peel. Where it looks very nice, I can see that you used real banana. Mm-hmm. All right, here's the first bite. Here's how it looks inside. I like it, I really do. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, it's a very nice banana flavor. It's nice and dense, but it's fluffy at the same time. So that's very good. I can kind of taste that you use, a, that you use salted butter on the top, and that's kind of a funky flavor to me. But overall, I like it. The only thing I would like is if it went a little bit not as long in the oven because it's a bit dry on the inside. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to work on that next time. Just a little bit. It's dry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like I said, you're like a big inspiration to me. Like, um, I'm so, um, yeah. <laughs> That's basically the video. Actually, this video idea was requested by someone, so I will be leaving their link to their channel in the bio. Not the bio, what? The description. Overall, okay, like my personal review of the muffins, not the judges, my, my review. Um, I thought that they were kind of dry on the inside. I wish that I cooked them a little bit less. And the salted butter made it taste kind of weird but it, it they definitely aren't bad i like them so yeah